uh, what is a human being is a mystery, let alone what is a family. When we think of us being the temple of the Holy Spirit, animated by the indwelling Christ, so that a human being is not fully human yet until we've been inhabited by God. And then there is the mystery of the plurality of the Trinity, what we call family, comes out of the root of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in that interaction. And then that word family, we use the word family to define other things, like family of ministries, but that word family contains great mystery. And so uh, we see, through Youth of the Mission, something extraordinary in world history and church history. At this point, uh, there's over 200 nationalities in YWAM. I married an American. I'm a New Zealander. At this point now, as my sons have gone out and married, we have seven passports and five languages. Uh, you might think, well, that's very confusing. No, more is better than less. It's glorious. It's a fantastic thing. And so when my mom and dad, my sister and I left New Zealand 42 years ago, we began to diverge and go out into the nations. And uh, there's, we haven't, we haven't uh, become impoverished by that diversity. We've become enriched by it. And our sense of belonging and our holding together uh, and our heart affections for one another, even though we live in many different places of the earth. You know, I have grandchildren who speak Portuguese and French who think I'm a bit of an idiot because I don't speak their language very well, but they think I'm kind. That's the kind of experience typical to YWAMers at this point in our history. And yet it actually is gaining more momentum. It has got great institutional strength. We have properties and buildings all over the place, in some cases more than we can handle. And uh, it's all a bit of a mystery, but it's held together by God.